What's up guys? Alright, today I'll show you how to make a nice light wrap effect for when you're doing a green screen just to make the make it look a little more realistic like edges are being like ones with the basically the edges of your uh, green screen uh, your character subject will be will brighter kind of reflect the image in the background make it look like it's actually there that's my best description of that just let me make sure I'm doing audio got it. yep that's working all right let's get into this so drag in your green screen footage and add a uh, key light uh, you can hit the picker and then hit uh, command hold down command or control on PC and just it'll get an average of the area when you click makes it a little nicer result I think and then you can go to the screen mat, go to screen mat twirly thing, clip the black, bring that up. Let's bring the white down first. Then bring that to black, and then just a little screen preview bar. There we go. That looks good. And we'll just add a we'll add a matte choke. Just to get rid of the edges. I don't feel like playing with that right now. Alright, so the skin in our background we're going to use. We'll just use this explosion. There we go. So yeah, this explosion will wrap around his head. Now I'll... Uh, uh, Malt Tannen, he had a nice light wrap effect that only used one layer and uh, just took the explosion thing. This is going to be multiple layers, but maybe you guys can figure out a way to make this useful, the techniques you learn. So I'm going to keep on going with this. So stick with me here. All right. Uh, on the footage we have, we're going to add our first effect, which will be uh, a channel blur. There we are. And the settings I use is just 9 for all the, the red, green, blue. And then the alpha, I made that 25. And repeat edge pixels. Just so when it gets uh, across like, the bottom edge, it won't like kind of go to black. I'll fade. You'll, see what, you'll know what I mean if it happens. So it's a nice blur to it. It's got some really edges. It's kind of optional, but I think it makes it look a lot nicer. So... Next one's going to be a fill, because we're going to be using this as a track mat, and so we'll make this white. We can use alpha mat, but, you know, whatever works. Also, not completely necessary, but depending, you never know. And our last effect will be um, mat choker, and this is basically the main one. And uh, this, we're going to make this negative 70, I found works best, and then on the geometric softness 2, we're going to make that. 50 and now we will duplicate the footage bam and actually we don't need any of those effects besides the key light and the matte choker in this one so let's just shift click down all those delete them not needed nope I deleted them off the top one so I'll just bring that one down so the top one has all the effects and then we'll set the track mac to loom inverted or alpha whatever we made it white, so might as well use it, and nothing will show up until we add the bottom transfer mode, and we make it stencil alpha. And now you can see we got a nice outline here. It's a little small, so we'll make some. We'll make a nice preset and add some expression controls. Make a slider, bring it to the top, and then duplicate it, and go into the mat choker. Well, I'll click on that choke one, drag that to the first slider, and then I'll click on the geometric softness two, and I'll click that to the next slider. That way we'll make this preset it all works out nice. So negative 70 we used, and 50 for, this is basically the feather. The butt, so you can name feather, and then like the top one like thickness, just by entering. But for now, so let's see whatever looks good. So this is interacting. It's just the background only shows up there. 
So you can see as the explosion goes, it gets the whole thing, and then because it, the whole thing is just fading out, it throws a solid background. It'll just stay like that forever. Alright, so now let's apply this to make it look right. So we will highlight everything and Shift Command C, pre comp it, and we'll double click on it. And we'll grab our footage layer right here and then just hit Command. Actually, we'll hit both of them. So Control click and then Control C on both those. And then go back to your main layer and Command V for paste. Break them on the bottom. And it still has the track man on it, so let's get rid of that. And we need that to be normal. And now you can see that's just to make it all seem in the same spot. And now you can see that it's added this light wrap effect to the edges, make it look a little more realistic on the back. It's probably a little too much, so on the pre comp layer, we'll just lower the opacity. And another problem you can run into when you're doing this is that this part like the next part of the explosion is actually like that so it looks like it can appear to make it look transparent so to avoid that when you're in the you go into the pre-comp and then just go to the background layer and just just move it down a little that way it'll be different and it won't make it look like it's transparent so just mess with the opacity in that and it animates with it so the guy explosion just fades onto his hat and then goes off. Uh, zoom in so you make sure you can tell. Go to a part with the explosion right there. They would render. Let's move right here. Back of his head. So it's just adding a little something. Just cause I like making my things look nice curves to it there now it looks like he's ready to do his homework while blowing up and just turn it on cool little effect I thought if you want the nice easy quick preset go to maltan.com I think it is and then download the, his preset he made works on one layer um, so hopefully you learned something you can apply this to something different possibly I don't know I was just playing around with it, making a light wrap, and then I'm like, yes, figured it out, and then I searched it, and I'm like, I like some more on it, and I found Maltan's website doing it, and I'm like, so much easier, but I thought I'd show you, because that was pretty cool, so I'll see you guys later, alright, peace.